Now, Brown's blog posted, quote, the Cleveland Browns need to think about Deshaun Watson, close quote. But Baker Mayfield, the one and only clapback king, he clapped back with an, emo uh, with an OK emoji and added some of y'all Browns are funny. Ah, good old mm. Baker Mayfield. First thing first, can we put? Can we get that full screen back? You want that back? I need to look at that full screen with Baker Mayfield. Oh, it's coming. You know us. We got a Wi-Fi Marcellus, issues. Did you interpret this as an okay? Because word on the street, some people interpreted this as a Steph Curry making a three-pointer celebration emoji. Oh man, look, I, I go deeper than that. Like I'm from LA, and we know in LA you can't be doing that up. Uh-uh. <laughs> I'm trying to live growing up in LA with all that and all that. Uh-uh. That's death on site, but um, no, I knew it was an okay emoji, and some of the NBA players use it for three-pointers, and some of them are from L.A., and they use it for different things, but we ain't gonna get into Just so y'all know, the world doesn't revolve around the NBA, okay? It's football <laughs> talk right now. Let's do it. Um, so, my, Marcel, okay. is <laughs> do you okay, like Acho. or love or hate Baker Mayfield clapping back at Browns fans? Acho, you know you know me. You know I, I hate this. I, I hate this for so many levels. Let's First, let's frame this. Yes, sir. Let's just give this perspective of why I hate this. One thing that Baker Mayfield fails to understand is criticism is the cost of praise. Oh, yeah, that's a bar. I heard about it. Yeah, you know what? If you want to climb up the mountain, there's going to be atmospheric mm. pressure pushing against you every step I got to tweet that. I tweet that. Criticism Put, is the, the cost, cost of praise. Of uh, um, if you don't want Praise. people to hate on you, as, as the people say on Twitter, then don't do anything in this world. People won't hate on nothing, but they will hate on something. And Baker Mayfield, you've done something in this NFL. But he doesn't understand that in terms of perspective. You want to quiet all the haters? You want to quiet all the critics? You can't. It's impossible. You can try and play better and play as great as you want. Tom Brady still has haters, as they said. People still hate on Jesus. So, you know what I'm saying? They're going to hate on Baker Mayfield. You still don't have that in framework perspective. Okay, let's think a little different. So now you don't understand the rules of engagement, the mm. rules of the game. Let's talk about who you are. Are you a franchise quarterback? Because this certainly isn't franchise quarterback behavior. This is guy at the end of the bar that could throw football behavior. Like, dog. <laughs> Pass me another one. Double. Like, this is how you respond when you're that guy. But you're Baker Mayfield with a suspect resume. Let's be real. Your resume is a roller coaster ride. And then this is what you want to come out of your mouth. This is what you want to come out of your tweets. This is what you want to be associated with your brand is responding to the fan base. The fan base is there to support you, Baker. They're not sitting there trying to be antagonized by a questionable franchise quarterback. So if you're mad at the franchise wanting the best quarterback for their squad, then you should look in the mirror because that's who you're really mad at. Uh, come on, Sal. Okay, you, I was with you, but then you went too far, big dog. I ain't done. You, ain't, you really ain't going to be down. with me. Calm down. Calm <laughs> down. Okay. I don't like it, Baker Mayfield, but I don't like it because, Baker, you a clap back king, coach. Is Remember it, in college, is, oh. he, he, you know, grabbed the whole thing, you know what I'm saying? So, hey, you know what I'm saying? Got suspended for doing it. Remember in, uh, in, in the NFL, cussed out a reporter, dropped the whole F-bomb on his head. Just I got it. What kind of F-ing question? Is, cussed out a whole reporter. Oh, I got a list. Baker Mayfield, if you're going to clap back, Clap, clap back. back. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. If you want to clap like, back, clap, clap back. Don't clap back with this little, yeah. some of y'all Browns fans mm. are fine. I don't like passive aggressive mm. clap back. Like, if I'm in an argument and if I ask you what's wrong, nothing. Mm. Tell me what's wrong. <laughs> Let's go. I so that's it. my real issue. Good like, point. don't be passive aggressive, Baker. My second issue is, Baker, you're beyond this. Thank you. Know you. What I'm saying like, I thought you're, you're, you're beyond or, or this. Or is he? Baker. Or is he? He is. Because or Baker, mm. you're safe, big dog. Is he? You're safe, mm. Baker. Let me tell you what you've done, Baker. Mm. Let me tell America what you've done, Baker. First playoff win since 1994. Mm. First playoff yeah, appearance yeah. since 2002. Uh. First 10 win season since 07. Baker Mayfield, let me tell you what you've done, big dog. Mm. You safe. So Baker, once you're safe. You don't have to address this. What do they say? Lions don't concern themselves with the opinions of sheep. Mm. Baker Mayfield, you a lion. Mm. Don't concern yourself with the opinion of a dog in the pound. Uh. You, you a lion, Baker. <laughs> is he, he's safe. a lion? He's a lion. Or is he a dog that look like a lion? What kind of dog <laughs> looks like a lion? Tweet me that, y'all people, because I've seen some dogs that look like other animals, but I'm like, you ain't nothing but a dog. <laughs>
Looks like the guy at the end of the bar to me. I don't know, dog, dog. You know what's so funny about people in this world and today especially? Because everything is really being transmitted by ourselves as the author, as you just tweeted what I said, right? Now, all of a sudden, my quote that I stole from somebody becomes your quote that you profess. And people look at you like you're smarter. You're a regurgitator. But you know the beautiful thing about this is, and this is the sad part as well, it's right there in the same thing. Baker Mayfield can create a narrative, a perception of himself that we will buy into if he were consistent with that same portrayal. But you know what's funny? You can't be consistent when you don't believe in what your messaging is. Mm -hmm. Baker Mayfield can say what he wants on Twitter, say what he wants on Instagram, play up and down on the football field. But when he looks in the mirror, that's where the signal is the purest. And that's why Baker Mayfield still can't get to a point where you're bigger than that. Because he know damn well when he look in the mirror, he ain't bigger than that. Want to know why? When he hears Deshaun Watson's name, it hits him. You could, I, look, if I said Blake Bortles to Baker Mayfield, he wouldn't even respond. For real? Right? That's if real. I said Case Keenum to him, he'd be like, man, stop. But if I say Deshaun Watson, hey, 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 hey. you know why? Because Deshaun Watson got you in completion percentage, bro. Got you in passing yards by per game by a lot. Touchdown interception ratio, passer rating, smoking him. Wins and losses, smoking him. Playoff appearances, two to one, beating him. Pro Bowls, three to zero. Uh oh. 4,000 yard season, four to zero. The point is, Acho, I could talk to you all day about how Acho is 30 for 30. I saw you on the Forbes list and best selling author, all that. But then look at your face when I bring up like Michael Strahan or something. Then you be like, hey, man. <laughs> what? And I could come down the ladder a notch or two. Don't and come then, too far down. Not you too far because you're right there. You're you right there, but you ain't there. <laughs> and that's what Baker Mayfield just told us. When you hear Deshaun watch his name, but sell. Sell. What? Can we be real, man? Uh, Sometimes I'm... men are insecure. Oh, definitely. Specifically football players, big dog. Oh, I'ma get y'all to my expertise and experience in a second, but I'ma come back. What? Baker, what? Don't let him see you sweat. Mm. The, the issue really sell with why I don't like it is, Baker, for a second, you let them see you sweat. Everybody has a crack in their armor. We all mm. do. But Baker. Don't let them see that you got the crack in your armor. You the king. Mm. King, you got to roar. And mm. when you roar, everybody knows what it is. So if you're going to roar, roar. But not like this, Baker. Here's the other thing. I'm going to give you the, the ounce of why I love it before I get back to why I hate it. The ounce of why I love it is if you don't tell people to respect you, sometimes, Marcellus, they, they won't. won't. That's real. Sometimes, like, you have to demand your respect. Through actions. Correct. Will well, be the I'll best. Sometimes but... through actions, okay. far, further than words. But, like, Baker got to let y'all know, like, hey, y'all funny, man. Uh, uh, 20 quarterbacks before me have tried. Mm. 20 before me have in tried. In one place. In, in one place. In you one got place. Brandon Weed, you got Colt McCoy, you got Robert Griffin, you got, uh, you got a litany of quarterbacks who have tried, and yet I have succeeded. And y'all finna bring up Deshaun Watson. Don't let them see you sweat. But... Man, we do sweat, big dog. Sal, you know I'm going to tell you. You know, you mentioned the name Michael Strahan. I got another Michael for you. Hey, hold on. When you say Strahan name, make sure it echoes because it's that far away from you, <laughs> way up there. You mentioned the, the name. Yeah, but Strahan about 45, 46. Give me 15 years, big dog. You, you got him. See. You're going to see. Keep me but, with but you, But I'm not about that Michael right now, <laughs> okay. okay? Again, in, in, in previous relationships, I was walking in, I was walking in a, the old lady's house one time. What? Hold on, you and them old ladies. How many times? Figure of speech. What do you mean? Figure oh. of speech, okay. America. Okay, literally. And, and I see, and I see a magazine cover. It's Michael B. Jordan laying there. Mm. On the Michael B. Shirtless, mm. shirtless Michael. My daughter, B. Jordan. love that dude. Shirtless Michael B. Jordan on, on the cover of Essence or something. Damn. And I'm sitting there. I take the magazine cover. I turn it upside down. Yeah, secure it. And secure as heck, <laughs> because I'm looking at me. And I'm looking at Michael B. He just finished shooting Black Panther, had the little thing shirtless and whatnot. You know me, I work out, Marcellus. <laughs> I work out. But Michael B., he, he, he had me beat at that moment. <laughs> at that moment? Is that this moment? Because he had you beat forever so far. And so I say this <laughs> so to far. say, Sal. What? Men are insecure. Baker, insecure. Don't let them see you sweat. That's it. Just don't let them see you sweat. Man, that commercial old as hell. Don't let them see you sweat. <laughs> Baker didn't watch it, obviously, because he's still letting us see him sweat. Ah, no, no, no. You missing the boat on this one. It's not just that Baker's insecure. We all are insecure. I have insecurities as well. I don't know what they are because <laughs> people say I, I'm always right. You, you know what? You're right. <laughs> That's how I look at it. Like Kanye said, Baker has a ghetto mentality. Ghetto mentality. And you know what a ghetto mentality really is about? 
It's when you have little to nothing, you make everything bigger and greater than it is. That's what a ghetto mentality is. And it's not about color. It's not about race and ethnicity. You no, know, if you guys know history, ghettos can embody anybody. But if you're within these borders, sometimes what permeates is a mindset, which is this thing can trigger everything. That's real. Huh. That's if you real. been where I've been, you would know what I'm talking about. And Baker Mayfield has that mindset. This was just a fan base basically asking the question, should we be interested in a quarterback that is better? And you took notice and attention and was disturbed by that. The only response, the proper response for Baker Mayfield would be, I'm getting to work to be better than the guy they think that is better than me. When you're Baker Mayfield and you're 29th in NFL completion percentage and 26th in passer rating since you were drafted, you ain't got time to be sitting on Twitter you got time to be in the lab cooking up a better experience for yes. you on the field. Yes. That's my issue with Baker it. Mayfield is doing what I am doing now. Before the show, I'm in the gym. I'm on my jump rope. I'm working out because Michael B. Jordan, I'm coming for People's Sexiest Man Alive next year. My only other second point, Marcellus, is this. You I'm a man of my word. You don't want to work for I, that? I, I said I was going to tweet my boy, <laughs> and you know what I did while you was talking, big dog. Do? I, had to, I had to tweet, and I had to shout you out because I put your quote in context. I attributed it to you. Criticism oh! is the cost of praise. Oh! My dog, Marcellus Wiley, Make that into a Wileyism, please. Thank you. Please. No, no plagiarism this time. No, not, not this time. Not this time. <laughs> Next segment.